I'm from Dallas, got a 214 number But I'm smoking on some 310 number Rich shit, a bunch of niggas and some foreign wheelers Obviously we not your average or your normal nigga what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Phobic here, bringing you guys another Forza Motorsport 6 video. Today I'm going to be talking about how I kind of tune my drift cars. So what, what I'm going to do, since I'm kind of lacking money, I only have like... Not enough to really build another car. Actually I might. So I lied. We're going to go ahead and pick a car to build. We're going to pick this 350Z, because it's 37k. And we're going to go ahead and build this drift car, or not drift car, drag car, but I was going to use a car I already have and go through it with you guys, we're going to make it blue, but I have more money than I thought, so pretty much, like I said before, I'm going to go through and in depth just kind of show you guys how I build my drag cars to be the best they possibly can. Okay, we're going to go to the upgrade shop and look at the conversions that we have. Aspiration, twin turbos, of course, we got a twin turbo 8. That's pretty much all I really want to do, unless there's other, ooh, there's Nismo kits. We're put that Nismo kit on. And then we're going to go put, really like this Nismo spoiler. Then um, the Nismo rear bumper. We're gonna make this thing a Nismo kit. Cause Nismo is sexy. So I am gonna go ahead and time lapse. Never mind. I just have to do tires. We're gonna put street tires on. Actually I lied. We're gonna put Yeah, we're gonna do street tires and upgrade this one more time. Do the rim stock. And I'm going to time lapse the rest of this, so I'll talk to you guys. Never mind guys, I'm retarded. We need to put drag compounds on it because it's a drag car, not a drift car. I'm in drift mode, I just recorded a drift video, so yeah. Okay, so basically what I did is I went through the engine, platform and handling, and drivetrain, up upgraded everything to race. And the reason I did that is for max power, max handling, like, everything. But I forgot that this is a drag car, not a drift car, so you do want drag compound tires. And then in the rear, you want to go all the way up to the highest you can go. Keep the back or the front pretty much as narrow as it can be. And that's pretty much it. Now for the tuning. Tuning is something that can be very tricky depending on the car and how much power the car makes. So you want to lower your tire pressure down to about 24 and then put your front tire pressure to 55 and then keep your rear between 23 and 30 just about. And then gearing, it's like a baseline. I kind of put mine up to 420 and then take everything down to the nearest whole number. And this seems to have worked very well for me with pretty much any car. Now, gearing is something that you can kind of mess around with if you don't like the way it launches. Camber, you want to take all the way down. You want to have no camber or tow. And then you want to put your front casters to 7. Then here, you want to stiffen these, both front and rear anti-roll bars, to as, as stiff as it can go. And then for springs... You want to loosen the front to the softest it can go and tighten the rear to as stiff as it can go. And then for ride height, um, I usually slam my cars just because it's me. But you can leave it there, you can raise it a little bit, but I really wouldn't go any higher than maybe half, half an inch higher than it comes stock. Dampening, you really don't want to touch the dampening. Arrow, if you put an arrow kit on it, adjust the arrow kit for more downforce but 
I usually don't put arrow kits on. And yeah, breaking you don't want to touch, and diffs you don't want to touch either. So we're gonna go test this car and see how good it goes. Okay, so the best drag strip I found for testing a drag car is the test field because it has the most grip. And I usually do a half mile to a mile, so I have time to you know stop the car, turn around, adjust gears. You want to launch it and oh, listen to that turbo, but you want to launch it and just hook. You want to get the least amount of wheel spin as you can. You can see I didn't spin all that much. So we're going to go ahead and hit fifth. And then we're going to slow it down and go back and do it again. And hopefully we get the same result. But you really don't want to get all that much wheel spin off the line. Because the longer you're spinning, the less time you have. You're accelerating and gaining speed. And the more time your opponent has to gain ground on you if their car is properly tuned. So also give you the advantage on those kids that don't know what they're doing and have poorly tuned cars. Another tip I can give you is from first to second if you're spinning quite a bit, short shift it. Um, yes, you kind of lose some speed in the long run, but it'll definitely get to the higher RPMs and the boost for your turbo. So that's pretty much just how I tune my drift cars. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did and it's fun and helpful, leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.